everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom. I wanna wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, and I also wanna help you out with your Christmas list for the dog lover in your life. All of the products that you see right here are all made in the USA, and they also all universally accept the code Maligator Mom, which makes it very easy for you to remember when you're checking out. So number one is MunsterMilling.com. Now this is the food that I feed my personal dogs. This is an all stages food, which means that even Crisis as a puppy has been on this food since she was eight weeks old. This is a holistic, fully customizable dog food. I highly recommend it. Number two is going to be robertcabral.com. A subscription to his website would make a fantastic gift. I'm someone who consumes a lot of online dog training content and his is truly second to none. Make sure you check it out. Another question I get asked all the time is what kennels do I use? For my personal dogs, it's a no-brainer. This is gonna be a gunner kennel. All of my dogs have gunner kennels. I purchased these gunners because not only are they made here in the USA, in fact, right here in Nashville where I live, but they are also the first kennel to ever receive a five-star crash test rating. And last but not least are the collars that my personal dogs wear. These are available from tactipup.com. They are fully customizable with their name. You can get a handle on them and they have all metal hardware buckle systems with the Cobra buckle made right here in the USA. Definitely check these out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom. Today is Monday, December 6th, which means that it is a very important day here for us because if you remember me saying from a couple videos ago, today is Riot's birthday. So how fun is that? He is turning three years old today and uh, it's kind of a tradition of ours that we get into the kitchen with him where he loves to be and we let him get up on the counter. This is not something we do normally, but this is his birthday and this is something he likes to do. So we let him come into the kitchen, we bake him a very special treat, and um, we just have a really good time with him, giving him some extra privileges, some things that he doesn't normally get to do. It makes him feel very proud, makes him feel very special, and you can just see that he really enjoys himself when we get into the kitchen with him. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that we are going to be baking a treat today. I will put the recipe down below. Um, it's very uh, minimal ingredients, just a few things because I know that so many dogs have food allergies. Um, and I actually got this recipe from Gone, uh, Gone with the Snow Dogs. I don't know if any of you watch that channel. She's got some Huskies and she always has really cute videos. One of the things I like about her is that she has lots of dog friendly recipes. So if you're interested in her channel, I will also link that down below, but that's enough rambling. Let's go ahead and grab Riot, get him into the kitchen and let's bake him up a birthday treat. Making our Christmas memories. Who's a birthday boy? Are you the birthday boy? Yeah, are you ready for your birthday? Should we bake some cookies? Should we bake some cookies? Come on, let's go. Let's go bake some cookies. Go on. All right, get up in your spot. Yes, yeah, sir, go on, get up there. All right, are you ready? <laughs> you wanna bake these cookies? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the ingredient list for today. Um, I am gonna be using two eggs. I'm also going to be using some flour in today's recipe. You don't have to use flour yourself if your dog has a grain allergy, which I know some do. You can always substitute the flour that you see me using today for rice flour. I'm also going to be using some peppermint extract today, a little bit of honey, and then some coconut baking oil as well. I am also gonna be using just a little tiny bit of food coloring to help make this a little more fun. Um, you know, it's gonna be such a minimal amount that this is really not, I'm gonna go on the record as saying that it's not going to harm my dog. And so, um, you know, if you're someone who feels the need to comment about my dab of food coloring in today's recipe, just resist the urge, please. All right, so first things first, I'm going to crack a couple eggs here which I know you like these very much. I know, these are so good, so good. All right, there's one and there is two, okay? Now I am going to whisk these together and Riot is going to help. Huh, yeah, <laughs> okay, you can't eat it. You can't eat it, we need it for the recipe, okay. 
eggs are whisked. Ugh, now I got egg in my hair. Next, we're gonna do a tablespoon of coconut oil. And if you measure, <laughs> okay, hey, gross. If you measure the coconut oil uh, before the honey, then the honey will come right off of the tablespoon. So a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of honey as well. Hold on, Ryan, hold on. Hold on, I know. I know, the honey is your favorite part. See, comes right out, okay. I think you got it all. Excuse me, sir, are you done? Okay. All right, wait, 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 wait. Cooking is all about patience. All right, so now we're gonna do just a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract, which is just like the teeniest, tiniest little amount. And that'll do it for our wet ingredients so we can mix these together. Now, I am gonna go ahead, like I said, and add a little bit of food coloring. Um, I'm gonna add blue because I'm going to be cutting out snowflakes. If this bothers you, please just look away. Put a trigger warning or something, because you know someone has something to say about the fact that I'm putting a little food coloring in here. Do we care? We don't care about this, but... Oh, shit! Oh no, I'm gonna have a blue finger for like a month. Luckily, we don't need more than a couple little drops here, I don't think. If I could get it out at all, that would be great. That looks pretty good, yeah? You are gonna have... Some very blue poop, sir. Can I trust you, please, to not put your nose in this while I grab the flower? Do I have your word? Just, just wait there. It says one and a quarter cups of flour, but that's for the rice flour recipe, so I'm kind of wondering if we should just, let's just, let's just add a cup first. Can you believe it's your birthday? Can you believe it? Can you believe? Can you believe it that you're three today? I can't believe it, my boy. And they said I was crazy. Okay. So here is our cookie dough, and I feel like it was a little tacky, so I was trying to just work a little bit more flour into it. See how it's, it's kind of sticky. Okay, hold on. Stop that. Ew. That's gross. Don't eat the flour like that. You're, it's like eating glue. Don't be the kid that eats glue. I feel like we should we should roll them out kind of, okay, wait, on the thin side, because if we roll them out on the thin side, then we can make them crunchy, you know? Because I think, I think you would prefer them crunchy. Look how freaking cute. Look how cute, Riot, oh my God. Like, are you so excited? Stop eating it. Here they are. We're gonna go ahead and put these in an oven at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. Depends on if your dog likes a chewy cookie or a more crunchy cookie. We're gonna cook ours longer because Riot likes his a little crunchy. So while our cookies are baking, I am gonna go ahead and get Riot's um, gifts ready. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me as I made Riot's special birthday treat this year. Again, big shout out to Gone with the Snow Dogs for that recipe. Uh, I think Riot really liked it a lot. I am gonna make sure that um, the rest of the pups go ahead and get a cookie as well, but I know Riot and I know that he did not want to share any of the spotlight or any of his treats, so um, I did keep them separate for this video, but, uh, but I will make sure they get a treat. So anyway, um, thanks so much, you guys. I hope that you use this recipe and make some Christmas cookies this year with your pups. I'll see you guys tomorrow.